The only time when I could imagine joining a pod, and I've done it, I've tried with one post of mine where I joined a pod, and this was quite a special case, and I would like to tell you about that, because this is the one area where I think I could reconcile it with my kind of character, with my, my predisposition that I could do it. So first of all, uh, it has to be four conditions met. First of all, the people in the pod are exactly your target audience. And that is going to be rare because people in pods tend to be generally small B2B solopreneurs, but they are exactly my target audience. In that case, because LinkedIn will then algorithmically serve the content that they engaged with, they will serve the content to similar people. And so that's good, right? So that is one thing. If the people are the same, if the people who are engaging with your content are the typical, you know, the solopreneurs, the coaches, consultants, and so on, and your target audience is corporate, then it just messes up the algorithm. You will have someone who is absolutely outside of your target market engaging with your content. That just makes the real target audience just confused. You know, why are so many small small, you know, B2B companies, coaches, consultants commenting on this. So that was the one thing that uh, kind of that needs to be fulfilled. The one condition needs to be fulfilled. So second condition, the people in the pod are rotating. It's not always the same 15, 20 people like usually, because otherwise it just becomes really obvious. And also I could very much, I would be pretty certain that the LinkedIn algorithm is smart enough in figuring this out and in then deprioritizing the, the, that kind of engagement, those, those posts. Um, third condition would be that the people in the pod are required by the pod master to actually post substantial comments. There's nothing more embarrassing that those comments in a pod post where they say, great post, so much value, you're amazing, right? <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing these days. And now there's more and more people who see through this. So I strongly recommend that this is part of the requirements and I see pods emerging now where this is a requirement. As I was in one of these pods still, the, the comments tended to just be wordier, but essentially they were the same. They were like, Michael, you add so much value in your post, I just can hardly believe it. You know, which is essentially the same as saying great post, but it's just not very, um, you know, it doesn't really add to the discussion. And fourth condition I would say is you're doing this as an interim measure and you're tracking what gets you above average engagement with the ultimate goal of leaving the pod, right? As soon as you are at a certain level, you will then leave the pod because your organic engagement will then be as good as the pods and then you can leave. And so if those four conditions are met, I'm quickly going to repeat them. First of all, uh, the people in the pod are exactly your target audience. They are rotating. It's not always the same ones. Uh, the people in the pod are required to post quality comments, something that adds value, and you're doing it as an interim measure. Then I could imagine that being in a pod would be something that I could envisage doing. And I did exactly that. I was in one of those pods for one post. I did that before Christmas once. It was kind of okay, but it was it was a real pain for me to engage on people's posts that I did not find interesting. Very often it was somebody who was doing something very obscure, some kind of uh, insurance calculation modeling and so on, and they posted something and I needed to engage on that, I needed to place a meaningful comment. Like, what the hell am I going to say about this? I don't understand any of what this guy is saying. And so from this point of view, it was also just disingenuous. What if then someone comes to my profile and sees my comment and see talk, somebody talking about an insurance uh, actuary table calculation, you know, I just, what the hell? So it's just weird, you know, but that's why I didn't stay with it because of this requirement. Because if people engage on yours, you need to engage on theirs. So you need to spend two hours every time you do this, you need to spend two hours engaging on everyone else's post who engages on yours. And it's just, it's a drag. You know, sorry, I have better things to do. And I think those two hours are much better invested if you actually spend time on understanding your target audience, really know what they want. And this is, by the way, the number one recipe for good content.